Daniel Medvedev versus Yannick Sinner is the final of the Rotterdam Open for 2023. And both players have been very impressive to get to the final stage. Sinner started the tournament off unseeded and will take on Bonzi in the first round. And after dropping the second set, he would eventually prevail in three, six, two, three, six, six, one. In the second round, he'd take on the number one seed, Sinti Pass, who he'd played an epic match at the Australian Open only a few weeks ago. But this time, Sinner got the easy win, beating Stefan straight, six, four, six, three. In the quarterfinals, he'd take on Vavrinka, who had been very impressive to get to the quarterfinals, but Sinner dispatched him in straight sets, 6-1-6-3, to make it to the semifinals. In the semifinals, Sinner would take on the wildcard Grigspor, who had had a very impressive season so far. And after a couple of close sets, Sinner would make it to another final, getting through 7-5, 7-6, making it back-to-back -back finals in consecutive weeks. Medvedev entered the tournament as the number six seed and would take on Davidovic Fakina in the first round. And after dropping the first set, he would come back and win 4-6, 6-2, 6-2. In the second round, he'd take on van der Zanschulp, who had had a very tough match in his first round. But this was no trouble for Medvedev, getting through in straights, 6-2, 6-2. In the quarterfinals, he played the number three seed, Uge Aliassim, who he'd played an epic match against 12 months earlier at the Australian Open. But this time, it was all Medvedev, winning in straight sets, 6-2, 6-4. In the semi-finals, he'd take on Grigor Dimitrov, who'd taken out her catch and Dimonor along the way. But this was by far Medvedev's easiest match, getting through in straight sets, 6-1, 6-2, to make his first final of the season. These two guys have played four times before, with Medvedev leading the head-to-head 4-0, -head and interestingly enough, all their matches have been on indoor hard courts, but Sinner has pushed Medvedev to the brink back in the 2021 A to B finals, having match points, but unfortunately, hasn't got a win yet against Medvedev. If Sinner's gonna win this one, he needs to be aggressive, but he also needs to bring the variety. The problem that Medvedev's been dealing with, or the lack of problem that he's been dealing with, is the fact that his opponents have been hitting so many errors and trying to out-rally him. But if Sinner can come to the net and be a little bit more variety, then maybe Medvedev's gonna have a problem. If Medvedev's gonna win this one, he just needs to stand back and rally. That's what he's been doing against all his opponents and it's been working perfectly. Sinner's gonna have to make the aggression and be the aggressive player. Medvedev just gotta be the brick wall and he's also gonna serve well because that way he's gonna win his first title in a long time. This is a very intriguing matchup and Rotterdam overall hasn't had the best matches and some of these big matchups have been kind of flops but I expect this one to be epic, and I think Sinner's going to win. I think he's going to beat Medvedev for the first time. Sinner's been in such good form over the last two weeks on the indoor hard courts, and I think he's going to take Medvedev out in three sets. But let me know down in the comments below who do you think is going to win this final.